baby J Rock is here, and it is time for the great one to do another reaction, baby. Last night, did we have the promo of the year? They called me, and I've worked my ass off every day since. Come on, I'm a two-time champion. I beat Brock Lesnar. Go Hi, Lee. J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world, baby. J-Rock is here. And last night, baby, on Monday Night Raw, Kevin Owens and Drew McIntyre may have had the promo of the year. Oh, you felt it. Oh, those dudes, ever since Triple H came out, people have had more freedom on the microphone, and it is paying dividends. J-Rock says, we're gonna take a listen to this promo. No video for copyright purposes, all right? I don't feel like fighting WWE over um, all these videos. But with that being said, we are gonna take a listen to it to see exactly how this promo went. Showtime. There's a name that he didn't mention. Probably upset about that right now. Drew is getting there. Here is Kevin Owens. He doesn't look too happy either. Yeah, I like this one too. Drew McIntyre versus Kevin Owens. So convenient. So can I come out here and then you say my name. That's real cute. You know, there's something about you, Drew, I never got. I don't understand why, as big and good and strong as you are, you still feel the need to come out here and pretend to be something you're not. Yeah, you know, because you come out here and you talk with that big, loud, almost comical, tough guy voice. Sometimes you wear a kilt, sometimes you have a sword. You think this is medieval times? But now you just proved to me and everybody in that locker room that you're delusional because if you think you've been carrying anybody else's weight around here, you're a real dumbass. I think you don't know who the hell you are, but me, I've been the same person my entire 22 year career. I have known exactly what I am and who I am. I am Kevin Owens, and I am as real as a gets in this business. Oh, 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 oh. But it seems the past few years, some people, people like you, may have forgotten what it is I'm about. And look, that's my fault, right? Because for the last couple of years, I've been, I've been having a good time coming to work and having fun. But then something dawned on me earlier today when I got to this arena. I actually got goosebumps because I realized that this is the very same arena where at Battleground, Sami Zayn and I had the fight of our lives and left everything we had in that ring. We gave people a match they still talk about six years later. And then I realized, you know what, there there's a like side of me that's been missing for far too long. and. Uh, I miss that side. I miss the old Kevin Owens. I think it's time to bring back the Kevin Owens that people called the prize fighter. And Drew, I haven't held a title in WWE for five long years, but enough is enough. And it's time for a change. So now I am coming after everything. Rest Every single champion heart, man. is a target. The US champion, the intercontinental champion, the tag team champions. And Drew, I don't give a damn if it's you or Roman Reigns. Whichever one of you walks out of Cardiff champion has got a hell of a problem. Because I'm coming after the biggest prize of them all. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal title. Okay. 
I'll let you say your piece. And quite frankly, Drew McIntyre is going to have to respond. You know, I'm sick of people making stuff up just to get a cheap reaction. Saying things like, Drew McIntyre not carrying the load, not knowing who he is. I know exactly who the hell I am. Someone recently called me the chosen one. I was the chosen one 15 years ago. Then I got fired. Then I had to work my ass off, earn my way back to this company. I didn't call WWE. They called me and I've worked my ass off every day since. Come on, I'm a two-time champion. I beat Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, Randy Orton, everyone that stood in my path. Don't you dare look me in the eye and pull that BS again. <laughs> now I think it's time for Owens and McIntyre to stop talking. I don't care if you're a prize fighter, a sports entertainer, a superstar. We're wrestlers in a wrestling ring. Let's just freaking say that word. Not with this oh, wow. Now it's laid down by oh. McIntyre. You know what? You're no prize. But you're on, let's do it. Is this, this going to be official? Oh, 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 oh. J-Rock says this. That is what I'm talking about. That was a promo that reminds J-Rock of himself. And some dude named The Rock. I don't know if y'all know him or not. But anyway, that type of promo, that passion, that truth, um... That, that response by Drew, man, KO set him up beautifully, but he, he made sure he got his part in as well. And then Drew came back with the bruh. Yeah, I was the chosen one. I was chosen to be fired. And I didn't call them. They called me. See, that's, that's the thing that, about Drew's promo that made it just a little bit sweeter. I ain't called them. They called me, okay? That's how I know I'm legit. But I still had to work when I got here. And then he, he rattled off the names of the guys he beat. Brock Lesnar, Goldberg. Man. Damn good promo, man. We need more promos like this with two guys. Just speak the truth with passion, with vigor, piss and vinegar. This is a damn good promo. Was it the promo of the year? You tell J-Rock yes or no. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know which thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the Great One's reaction, you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG. And Wakanda forever. If you smell what J Rock is cooking.